The show me states makes Florida by making don't say gay even worse. Lawmakers in Missouri are considering a Republican proposed bill that would ban the discussion of gender identity or sexual orientation at all ages and grade levels. Tuesday morning, Missouri Senate's Education Workforce Development Committee held a hearing at which the bill was to be discussed. Any public or charter school staff member would be prohibited from discussing gender identity or sexual orientation unless they are a mental health professional and have parental consent if the bill passes. The Missouri bill is more restrictive than Florida's infamous Don't Say Gay law passed last year. Florida prohibits instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation from kindergarten through third grade, but Missouri doesn't specify as a range. Critics argue that the broad bill would prohibit LGBTQ plus teachers from discussing their spouses due to the possibility that it might indicate their sexual orientation. In addition, it would prohibit teachers from teaching books that include LGBTQ plus characters or topics that forbid health classes from discussing sexual orientation or gender identity. Republican State Senator Mike Mike Moon is unapologetic about the possible restrictions under the law. While speaking with the Kansas City Star, he said, quote, gender identity and sexual orientation conversations would be prohibited. If they think that would be included, then it likely will be, end quote. Two things here. One, of course, Phyllis Schlafly's home state is going to try to trump Anita Bryant's home state. Uh, and that's right. a queer history for you. Phyllis right. Schlafly, a poser of and the rights And I have a pie women. for you, right? <laughs> yeah. And Anita Bryant, obviously, infamously opposing uh, LGBTQ rights in Florida. But secondly, that's the intention, right? I mean, the intention of these laws as designed is to drive out LGBTQ plus representation from all level of education. That means teachers, too. They want to try to drum them out. So you're basically saying away. that they're trying to push them out. Like, yeah. okay, I'm going to force you to yeah, quit. This exactly. I can't, I can't fire you for being gay, exactly. right? Yeah. So I'm going to push you out. Exactly. So the vagueness of it is to make sure that the parents can sue anyone for basically having a gay teacher or teacher's aide or even a gay kid in the school. But, but that door theoretically, and hopefully a court would hear it, that door theoretically can swing both ways. If there is a book where a heterosexual couple is married, hopefully a gay couple will take the school district to court. This, I mean, the way that we're summarizing it, which is pretty, a pretty fair summary of the bill, it bans all discussion of sexual identity, which theoretically should also include heterosexual. That's an absolutely impossible bar to clear. So hopefully we're going to, and there, we're going to get uh, some open-minded judges that will say, this is not going to work. Yeah. It's going to be real hard to teach history because us gays have been there since the start and we pop up all over the place from Alexander the Great, you know, even the U.S. history. There's so many of us um, trying to pass over points of history. It doesn't work out well as we're seeing here in Florida with the Stop Woke Act. It's already backfiring with the black history and uh, classes that are being fought. It, it, it's not a good thing. It's very uh, Orwellian, and I hope it's very is. Orwellian. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that's the intention, isn't it? They don't want people to teach accurate history. They want to stick to their Christian nationalist white supremacist script. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, one thing that I would say is uh, I love our headline here as I read it. The show me state shows Florida. Clever alliteration. Um, because really that's uh, at the heart of what we're watching. You know, we do, uh, uh, we report on the ACLU reporting record number of anti-LGBT laws in January uh, nationally, uh, largest ever. Um, uh, the majority of Americans do not agree with this. They, the majority of uh, um, um, people in Missouri would not agree with this. This is, is either a radical small percentage or a moderate small percentage of um, people in Missouri or people in Florida that believe this. They try to get broader embracement by saying we're protecting your parental rights, but they're only doing that to gaslight. The majority of people do not agree with this. The majority of people agree and support the LGBTQ community. Overwhelming in the 80 percentile. Marriage uh, equality. Um, uh, so if, to John's point of going, well, uh, how are you going to do this for straight people in the schools? You can't. And ultimately, this hasn't gone on long enough for those legal challenges to be set in place. But they are coming. Mm -hmm. We know that they're coming. And at the end of the day, majority of people 
certainly embrace the identification of Prince Charming and 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 uh, uh, his princess. Well, it will be the exact same thing in gay. So at the end of the day, what we're watching is someone wants to be worse, greater than Ron DeSantis, and that becomes. Uh, Bud Abbott in Texas, or it becomes this legislator in Missouri. They want to one-up themselves because they think that they've got a winning edge to win uh, in uh, in primary. their primaries of races. And, and the other thing that I think is um, uh, very dangerous about these laws, I, I draw attention, not only the push out, which I think is a really great observation mm -hmm. that y'all make, but it's, we are already starting to see the teachers that are not to the point of being pushed out and say, okay, I'm not even going to risk it. They're beginning to self-censor themselves. Mm -hmm. So they're not only not putting up the stickers that says, this is a safe space where you can confide in me, but they're removing books from their classrooms. They're self censoring their own book bans yeah. because these laws are so broad that I don't know if this becomes legal under the state law or not. There's a whole cadre of laws. Uh, John made the comment about what we're going to come back to these days 10 years from now. The cadre of the effect is not only the possibility of bullying and suicide, etc., but the whole loss of an educational system where we have said we don't want you to critically think. And we're going to come back to this, ta this time period of 22, 23, 24. Why did America get stupider in this time period? And this is going to be. Oh, and this is why. <laughs> I think we started in 17. Yeah. Well. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.